Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bastoa Woodworking. I recently installed this assembly table in my wood shop and it's been great except for one thing. It has very limited storage and it has just started to gather things on top. So I'm going to build some storage cabinets underneath. I started by measuring the opening that the cabinet will fill. I want it to be very tight from left to right, but I wanted to leave enough space on the top to allow the cabinet to slide in over the bottom crossbar. I then ripped down some cutoffs from other projects to 2 inches. This will create the cleat that the cabinet will sit on, and it should just clear the bottom crossbar. It was then over to the radial arm saw to cross cut the cleats to length. I could then head back over to the table saw to cut down the sides and bottom of the cabinet. My table saw has a really large cross cut capacity so I was able to cut close to 30 inches on my table saw. This could also be accomplished very easily with a circular saw and a straight edge. I made a rabbit on both sides of the base by just making multiple passes with my regular saw blade. I could have used a dado stack for this step, but I decided I didn't feel like fiddling with the dado stack. I decided to attach the cleats to the base before the sides because I wanted to make sure that the base slotted into the space the way I wanted it to prior to having an assembled cabinet. In retrospect, I should have attached the sides and top um, frame prior to the cleats, as it would have made things easier, but everything worked out in the end, so not really a big deal. Having confirmed that the base slotted into the frame the way I wanted it to, I could then attach the sides and the cross frame on the top. The cabinet is going to have drawers on the top and a cubby in the bottom, so I cut a couple of pieces of half inch plywood to close in the back of the cubby. This is just to prevent things from falling behind the cabinet. I then reinforced the frame with some wood screws just so that as I'm moving it around to start installing the frame for the drawers, I could make sure everything stayed nice and square. I then cut some pieces of scrap that will act as a cleat for the divider between the drawers and the cubby to sit on. And back to the table saw to cut the divider. And apparently I cut on the wrong side of my line. Um, not really a big deal, I just put a shim in there. This little divider isn't going to support any weight, so it doesn't need to have a perfectly fitting shelf. I then cut a little face frame to cover mostly my mistake with the miscut on the divider and to just clean up the front a little bit. I then started on the inner structure that will support the drawer slides, so I cut some pieces to mount at the exact midpoint of the top compartment. And then just glued and pin nailed them in place. I then attached the cross piece that the actual drawer slide will connect to. This is a good stopping place for tonight. The bottom cubby is all set, and now I'm just going to let this all dry overnight, and then I will install two deep drawers tomorrow. I started day two having completely forgot the measurements for my drawer openings, so I first remeasured them. I then installed the drawer slides using a spacer block. I could then head over to the table saw to rip down the sides and back of the drawer, and then over to the radial arm saw to cross cut them to the final length. The drawers are slightly different sizes, so I had to cut one of the drawers an eighth of an inch thinner than the other. 
I then cut a rabbit in the back of the drawers just by taking multiple passes with the saw blade. I again didn't want to mess with the dado stack. I then grabbed a piece of particle board and cut it down to act as a top to the cabinet. It would never be seen by anybody so I didn't want to waste a piece of 3 quarter inch birch on this. This is again a cut that I can do on my table saw because I have a really large cross cutting capacity. This could also very safely be done with a circular saw and a straight edge. I also used particle board for the bottoms of the drawers so I cut a dado in the sides and the back of the drawers just taking multiple passes again with the saw blade. I could then assemble the drawers. I first assembled the back and sides, and then I cut a bottom to fit snugly. I then cut a small front piece. This will be used to attach the drawer face. It was time to mount the drawers. I just used a couple of shims to hold the drawer off of the bottom and just mounted the slides. With the drawers mounted, it was back over the table saw to cut down another piece of plywood to act as the drawer faces then cut down to final dimensions on the radial arm saw. I then took a quarter inch round over bit and my trim router and just knocked down the hard edges on the drawer faces. I then used glue and pins to hold the drawer faces in place while I drove a couple of screws from the back just to hold the face on. With the drawer faces and the top attached, it was now time to sand everything and then apply a generous coat of shellac to finish. I had a couple more of these cool drawer poles, so I just attached them with the um, included screws. It's all done. I made it a bit shorter than the table because I change my shop around so often that I wanted this to have the ability to become a cart in the future if I decide to do that. I made this with nice long deep drawers to hold some tools. So now I just have to load it up. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. And until next time, thank you.